I might do speed. I might do some more racing tomorrow. I haven't played in a couple of weeks. So that should be fun. Actually, is it two weeks? No, it's three weeks since I played. Lol. Good night, Lex Technology. And speeding fans based on your income. Yeah, the, the rate is... The rate is, but the amount that it, it does is based on your speed. How much you're over the speed limit. Because somebody posted and said they were doing like 100 and something and they should have been doing 80 and they got fined 40 grand so they alt f the game <laughs> like they got fined over 44,000 mark so they just alt f would <laughs> like nope No, I've just gone too far and snapped it off. You see, cat, that's what happens, bro. You snap your hose off, it ends up down there. And then you're toast, you can't do any more jobs. I didn't hit the brakes quickly enough. What a scumbag. So now I have to sleep before I can do any more. This game is just a massive troll. Our racing is week 13 until Tuesday, Snetterton's release. I know I've got, I bought Snetterton, Kinducci. I bought Snetterton, but um, I don't know if there's any races like going around Snetterton apart from the GT. I don't know if the, because um, I'm class C now, that's the other thing. So I don't know what, what car to go for in class C. Snetterton's track is a bit... I don't know. I, I, it's a bit... Like that long bend. It's a weird one. That long curve. Yeah, we could sleep on the back of the truck, never mind the sofa. We could do both. But it'll push the game forward eight hours, and that won't solve it. Oh, yeah, what? Yeah. The only thing that solves it is a save, not a sleep. Doc Holiday, because he's a scumbag, such as a regular example of universal answer. <laughs> it's true, though. Go for the Porsche in Class C. Mad fun if you get the hang of the car. And what if you don't? If you enjoy the Skippy, the Formula Renault Pro Master is probably a natural setup. I guess Formula Renault then. I guess Formula Renault's the one to go for. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, sorry for all the questions, but are you planning on a fishing are you planning on fishing in the game? Yes. We're gonna test that out later. I wanna go to the island, fish and try the cooking thing. I know you put the trap out, but I'm not sure if we looked again since. Yeah, I put the trap out. So we need to go and get some fish and try cooking, because I've not done that yet. The Porsche will hang you. <laughs> Chop Suey, sorry, forgot to give some bits for charity. Thank you, Chop Suey. Pharrell Birdie, thank you for five months. Falling Dutchman, thanks for resume. Welcome back. I think the Formula Renault is on Project Cars. Code 4. I've got a feeling it is, bro. Yeah, we'll get Dolly on later. It's only like 6 o'clock. It's pretty early. You can cook fish on the sauna as well as in the fireplace. Really? In the sauna? Where do you have to put it in the sauna to cook it? I bet you the police are down the road here. I can almost guarantee it. I'm trying to drink a cup of tea while driving a sewage truck. What could possibly go wrong? Oh my god. 
What on earth just happened? <laughs> I had two cars in both lanes coming straight at me. <laughs> Those crazy fins. Oh, I dropped the poo on the police car. That's actually a good idea. That was Cardiff to Rostock all over. That literally was. This is the only problem with using the main road. It's got its own, like, consequences. Yeah, I exactly. It was like <laughs> racing practice. I think we're going to have to, um, we've not christened Dub Dub yet, have we? We need to go and christen him. We've got 10,000 litres of poop in the back of this truck. I think we should go and christen Dub Dub. planning a murder, Kenshaw. I'm planning a christening, not a murder. There he is. Now then, what's the best angle? I think if we go past him and reverse up to him. That might be the best way. As long as we don't hit him, he should stay there, I think. to get lined up just right now. Oh, I've hit him. A little bit too far. Sorry, bro. I know you've got some nice paintwork on, though. Spent a fortune on that metallic skin. Who's Dub Dub? Here's, this is Dub Dub. Oh, is that, that could be a perfect shot. Did he just stick the finger up at me? Now the thing is, I've got to be able to... Oh no, you see, if it's going to go on the bonnet, you see. It's slightly off at the wrong angle. It has to be perfect. It wasn't perfect, it wasn't quite right. Oh no, it was. It was the right, it's the other. Yeah, yeah, it's the other pipe, hang on. It's the other pipe, not the first one. We got this. Oh, oh, look at that, if that could be any more perfect. Right, Mr. Dub Dub, we hereby christen you, Lord Dub Dub of the Shire. Enjoy, bro. Oh, that's, that, <laughs> that wonderful new car scent. Why <laughs> just going up down his arm? That is genuinely disgusting. Oh my god. Oh, that's beautiful. 10,000 litres of that, and he's not even driven off. Wouldn't it be great if he could see it, like, filling up in the car and, like, oozing out of the door seams? And him sitting there going... <coughs> that was awesome. Let me try and close that. Thanks! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Warbub's not happy. They're on the move! 
I'm getting in my truck. There could be a reason why the death song is playing. Where's Dub Dub gone? Where's he gone? There he is! Straight into the nearest tree. Oh! <laughs> Rip that guy. Do you reckon he died from that? He did actually just go and hit a house. Wow, he's still alive. They don't build Skodas like they used to. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Oh god. I can't believe he's not died. Is he actually killable? Uh, Rip, where's the sofa? Where's the sofa? Did anybody see the sofa? Oh, man. Did I lose it round here, maybe? Uh, 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 no. <laughs> no. You get away from me. Probably when you nudge the car. Yeah, but where did it fall? I nudged the car over there, didn't I? How much fuel have we got? Better fill up. Oh man, I need to find that thing now. On the road, those two cars that came at you. I'm gonna have a look in a sec. Save it and try to blow yourself up at the gas pump. You can't blow yourself up with diesel. It just doesn't ignite like that. It has to be gasoline, and I haven't got anything that takes gasoline on me. You have one third of fuel. That's not enough. Like, one third of fuel, if you go and do two sewage jobs and drive home, you'll be pretty much near empty. This truck is not a Euro 6, bro. It just drinks fuel. During Costa, seven months, I once stayed up all night trying to figure out where the sun went. Then it dawned on me. Oh. Stevie, ask Dub Dub what the weather's like. It's brown rain. <laughs> oh, God. You're going to make a coffee while it fills up. Yeah, you could probably uh, cook some pizza as well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go and pay for the packages, Bilbo. There you go. That's how confident I am. It's diesel. As it happens, we needed one anyway. See that? That's like um, special nutrients I'm adding to the fuel. Uh, makes it run a bit cleaner. It's called Add Yellow. That's what it's called. Yeah. 
Right, I'm just saying, if my stream goes offline, it's because oh, lightning. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> apparently there's a thunderstorm here. Hands free. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Holding a cigarette, holding a diesel pump, and he starts to urinate. How impressive was that? Uh, Sarah McClure, happy 31st. Hope you had a great day. Flick the cig. <laughs> Cats. There's no other game like this game, Cat. That's why I play it. There's no other game like this game. I have player, yeah. It's not good, mate. You live not far from Chelmsford, there's no thunder here. Well, there is here. Wait, is that diesel bar not filling up anymore? That diesel bar's not moving. I bet I'm still being charged like 4 billion marks for it, though. Oh, I need to get some more food as well. Hey! Hey! How much for that? 700 mark for diesel. Eight hundred and forty-eight. Can't remember what he ordered. But let's have some sausage and some pizza. And let's get some more yeast and some sugar. Just in case. Just in case. Let's get our packages as well. Looks like we ordered a couple of instruments. It's about a thousand marks to fill from a third fall. Redonkulous. Northern Alex, thank, thank you for the host. Get a samurai one month till Twitch, baby. Right, I'm going to save it, because there's a save point around the back here. Because I want it to reset the pipe on the uh, sewage truck. However, I'm slightly concerned because we can't find the sofa. The sofa will basically reset to the tip. He's come back to kill me. No, it potentially would have been around here somewhere. I drove him into this house, didn't I? It's not here. Wait, what? You missed it? It will saw me. The, 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 the bag will explode. But uh, the thing is, there are two sewage jobs here, and I can't do them unless I get the hose back. Behind the shop. Wait, what? Dude, I'm looking for the sofa. I know where the bleeding toilet is. <laughs> I have no words. I'm looking for the sofa. Oh my god. We lost the sofa that was in the back of the... Um, and I can't find it. The thing is, it should have been technically here. If it was in the back of the truck, when we hit the cars, it would have been here somewhere. Oh, God. 
But it's not here, is it? Which means it must have fallen out before we even got here. So it could be anywhere, which means I'm better off saving it and getting it reset. Because, it, yeah, it could be on the highway. It could be anywhere right now. Yeah, Leanna, when I went past those two cars, it, it could have been then. Wow, my dirt in the spa has gone maxed. That's going to explode the shopping bag, but hey-ho. Wow, that took a long time to say. They are stalking me. Absolutely. Okay, so now we've got our hose back. Have a quick beer. Because we've saved it, the engine will be cold as well. To Raye, miss my bits. Uh, Raye, Paul, random question. Did you ever want to learn... Did you ever want to sign language? Never been a thing I've wanted to do, no. By doing that, you can basically make yourself quite safe because they pretty much can't go very far. I hate the way it resets the axles and everything, though. It's really annoying. Like, it should remember which axle, whether you had the axle up or down. What the? Bro! Dude! Are you okay? Do you want a cigarette? I've got 56 left if you want- Oh my god! If you want one. <laughs> Where's this guy going? You can't talk to him or anything? No, don't walk through there. I can't go that way. No, no, no. Oh, you can't either. That's interesting. <laughs> what? Can we punch him? What? What can we do with this guy? <laughs> hmm. Well, if you can't push him, there's not much you can do. <laughs> he's literally just randomly walking around. He has no idea where he's going. Like the AI's going, if cannot go forward, turn left. Can go forward, yes, keep going. After X seconds, stop and turn left. Oh well, he's pretty boring. I wish I could set him on fire. How are these two getting on, I wonder? Oh, beautiful. They just go around in circles. That's actually awesome. Right, been nice knowing you chaps. See you later. Right, we've got two sewage jobs to do.
we're not anywhere near a shower. But maybe we can go for a quick swim. Why is the dirt in this bar not coming down? There we go. It's coming down. I don't I don't think you can drown in this game, no. But you do have to move around for it to... Because um, if you just stand here, nothing happens. Oh, yeah, it does. No, you see, it stops. Very slowly comes down. But I think if you move, it's quicker. My summer car is not worth buying if you don't have a lot of... A, don't have a driving wheel and a lot of patience. Uh, there's a lot of patience you need, GD, but you can still use a controller. At least that's the thing now. You can actually get clean in the lake. Pretty heavy fatigue cost. Yeah, it looks like it. Although, yeah. How much was my fatigue bar on before I went in? I'll have to sleep in the back of the truck, I think. Nothing happens if the bar stays in the red. You can't die of dirtiness in the game. You can die of fatigue and you can die of thirst. I'm not sure if you can die of hunger. scumbag you uh, can you die of stress I believe so yeah you can die of hunger so basically I don't think you can die of urine and I don't think you can die of dirtiness but then all the other ones you can die of I think mm, that might be a bit too close we'll see The annoying thing is, the only way to reduce fatigue in this game is to have a coffee. And the only way you can have a coffee is at the bar, and the bar only opens at night. So you cannot reduce fatigue in the day, which I think is, um... I think that he should fix that. He should allow you to buy coffee in the shop, I reckon. You can actually die from urine that says your bladder explodes. <laughs> wow. That's a horrible death. I very much doubt you could voluntarily stop your bladder from, from, like, urinating. If you could brew your own coffee, that'd be awesome. Where would you make coffee? Um, either at your home or in the shop. He, he would have a coffee machine like a... Something like that. I don't know. I just think that not being able to... Um, even if you could only brew coffee and just take a bottle with you or something, even that would be cool. Like a flask of coffee. Yeah, yeah, you can sleep to reduce fatigue, but that knocks out eight hours of your day. But what you, with coffee, you can temporarily reduce your fatigue bar. But you can't do it in the day in this game. Right, let's try not to snap this thing. Well, energy drinks, yeah, but the problem is he doesn't want you to be able to just 
you know, solve all your fatigue issues by just taking energy drinks and coffee. So I can understand him wanting to limit it. He's doing it again. I think he's done something to the, um, these little sewage holes. They're definitely glitching out a lot more. One of those coffee makers with a 12 volt in the trucks and the cars. That would be cool. Right. One more sewage job to do. And then we've done all five. Well, it, you can stay in the red bar for quite a bit, so we should be okay. I'll probably just do this, and then we'll have to sleep. But it, you don't die straight away. Any drinks another thing in the 90s? I thought they had Red Bull in the 90s. Well, they certainly had caffeinated drinks. Come on. Really? What happens if you run the clients over? Uh, the client is, like, impossible to kill. You know the guy who you sell kill you to? I tried to drive him over once in the truck, and it was, like, just hitting a wall like that. It just didn't move. Him and his little sun canopy. I want to know what he's going to do with this. Red Bull introduced in 1987. There you go. That bottle is not even touching his lips. Maybe they'll add a football game. In the football, you can hit your vehicle and make you crash. Maybe. What if you bought a lot of coffee at the bar and just kept it in your vehicle? No, it doesn't work. Basically, the, um, the coffee is only drinkable when it's on the actual table where you bought it from. If you put it anywhere else, you can't drink it. It's annoying. Like, he deliberately coded it that way. Well, that's annoying. There we go. Okay, tos nyt on paljon, että viitte sitten tehdä tämä homma. Thanks. Ole tyytyväinen tähän. Ole hyvä tässä on rahaa. Morjens. I'm just gonna go to sleep and see what happens. Um with the hose pipe because I didn't put the hose pipe back and I'm curious <laughs> right let's have uh, some sausage and a couple of beers to start the day no Connor we've only done one of the cars I did the car that was near the antenna I think yeah, I've got to do the the wreck. You know, the one that's by the, um, like in a, a ditch by like a, uh, a bog. Got to do that one.
Wait, why is he still sat here? That's really weird. <laughs> You've been sat there all night. Come on, get in. That's pretty creepy. Is he an alcoholic? I don't know, but I don't think he sleeps. Welcome back. Not tough. Let's get this thing moved forward a little bit. You've never had Red Bull. Don't like the taste of it, really. Myself. Can't see the end there is. Sweet. Now, should we go to the tip and try and find the sofa? I guess we should. Actually, no. Uh, one sec. Let me just make sure we've still got our parts here. God, don't tell me we've lost a path. There's one thing that annoys me. It's like the fact you can lose things in the back of this truck. You can't lose things in the back of the van. I've got a feeling it's gone. There should be another smaller item here, but I can't see it. Rip. The thing that appear on the tip of the things that go through the ground, not uh, when you lose them, Tommy. Well, in that case, we'll never find that sofa again. And nor will we find this again. You can lose things in the van. Not as not as easy as a truck. Honestly, the truck seems to lose things all the time. Have a quick look on the floor. It's very hard to see what we're doing. Ay ay ay. I think it was the, um, it's the one that we want as well that we lost. It's the mixture. It's, uh, it's kept the, the extra gauges with like the battery level and stuff, but the mixture one is the one we need for proper carb tuning. And I think that's one's gone. It's only a little thing as well. You swear you saw it on the floor. All right. I'll tell you what, let's spin the truck around, get some light on it. What? I put it in neutral. What a scumbag. Uh, 
Uh, it hasn't been bugged because you slept and it disappeared. No, it's not here. We slept. We slept here, didn't we? So if anything, it would have dropped out here. Uh, Stormer121, thank you for subbing. Welcome to Nuthouse Stormer. Thank you for your support. Can we give a Stormer a nutty welcome, guys? To I, Christine. Enjoy your day. It's not here, is it? It's just not here, guys. And the thing is, I don't know if we'll be able to order another one. Because the game thinks we've already ordered one, but we don't know where it is. It could be at the tip. It's possible. I mean, it could have fallen out when I was driving from that house to this house. What's that? Oh, it's a bottle. No, it's not here. Dang it! Check the shop, why? Sometimes things can kind of glitch into the uh, bodywork. Mm, don't see it. Well, let's have a quick trip to the tip on the way back. Um, but I'm not holding out much hope. Oh my god, what are they doing? <laughs> These guys are still tied together. Oh, that's epic. They're gonna end up in the lake. It's amazing, if you just tie two vehicles together, the AI just hasn't got a clue what to do. They kind of naturally gravitate in towards the lake, though. Yeah, you can push them in, but if you look at the bumps on this grass here... I've done it before. They just kind of sit in the water, nothing happens. No, it'll reset when we save it, Cat. Everything resets when you save it. Any AI that you killed or killed themselves gets reset. They respawn, carry on. Any attachments that you put in place gets reset. Even like if you have your tractor attached to your trailer, when you save it, it'll reset that and put the trailer back on its little wooden block. Saving it is like a magic reset. But sleeping isn't. Sleeping doesn't change it. I did, Jandra. I attached the front of one car to the front of the other. It's 
It's a bottle. Just checking it wasn't here anymore. Alright, let's go to the tip and have a look. Alright, Diamond Traveller, good night. What have we lost? So we ordered two parts, right? We ordered the uh, fuel mixture gauge and the extra gauges. We ordered those two. We picked them up, put them in the back of the truck as packages, uh, saved the game, and then did a few sewage jobs, and now one of them's basically disappeared. Ends vamp guy, your Norwegian pilot. Oh, hi, Norwegian pilot, got you. Yeah, we're going to go to Tep, exactly. Stormer. Going to go and have a look, but I'm not sure if it's going to be there. It depends whether it just fell out. If it fell out, then it won't go back to Tep until we save the game. So what we could do is go to the Tip, see if it's there. If it's not, we could save the game and see if it appears at the Tip. Because that'll force a reset. When you save the game, it recycles things as well. So if it, like, for example, if you sell a load of kill you to that guy, when you save the game, all the bottles will respawn at the tip. Anything that's been lost, like under the map, will respawn at the tip. So if it doesn't appear when we save it, it's not going to appear at all. Maritime Transport, good evening. Try putting a rope from one police car to the other. I don't think that you can attach... I don't think the police cars have a tow point on them. It's a nice idea, but I don't think you can do it. Otherwise, I could drag a... Uh, drag a police car around. You got a blue GT Omega chair coming this Christmas for the wife. Come on, Christmas. How long is it? Well, run the command yourself. Exclamation mark until Xmas. having an out-of-body experience. Nah, I'm not Simon. There's a bunch of kill you bottles right there. Which we're going to need anyway, but I don't know if we can carry them in this truck without them falling out. However, I don't see... I don't see a, a gauge at all. There's a missing parcel inside the poop tank. It's unlikely. It's on your left. Well, are you just trying to troll me, bro? No, there's no sofa. We'll try saving it and see what happens. We'll see if it resets anything. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's turn the engine off. Let's shut the door. And let's try saving. And see what happens. Your pasta was great. <laughs> maybe where you picked up the bumper the other day I can't remember where we picked it up Oscar I mean it might be down the hill on the tip, that's the other thing it doesn't always spawn here hmm. I think it's made it now so it can spawn like anywhere in this area because I think on the YouTube video, I think I found my bumper like down there somewhere. So in theory, it could be anywhere on here. Oh God. Okay, we've still got the, we've still got the gauges. I keep hoping that we'll move a box and it'd be like, it's there. Like it was clipped inside of a sugar bag or something. Yeah. You don't respond to the toilet. You just lost your bumper on the edge of the tip. What the heck? Why is my truck behaving really weird? Yeah, there's a few trolls. So here's the thing, right? I, I kind of mentally make a note of the people that troll me. And the next time they suggest things, I just ignore them. What the? You should put a UFO in the game. I don't think that'd fit. Finally. Just wanted to get the truck so that the door wouldn't keep closing. Yep, this game has been number one troll tonight, I'll agree with that. Having died to a tree within ten minutes. Right on the seat. <laughs> we may as well take these back if nothing else. What's annoying though is if I can't find this gauge, I can't order another one. The game money allows one of each item to be spawned. And if there's one somewhere on the map, I just can't, you know... For example, if I was to buy those gauges and then lose them anywhere on the map I'll never find them again because they're like under a tree somewhere random but I can't go and buy another set of gauges because the game just won't let you order it which I think is wrong
Like it might it might be a waste of money for me, but it should still let me do it. Okay, chances of these still being here? When we get home? Non existent. Still got the gauges there. Uh, Parkson, we've already emptied the um, poop on the dub, dub car. I mean, we've got like a bit more in the back, but we'll just keep it for now. Because at some point, we should get the... We should get the job from the mechanic where he wants you to drop a load of poop on the um, test center. So I'd rather make sure we've already got half a load because 10,000 liters takes a while to get. Everything glitches out of the truck, is he? Yeah, I don't see anyone. Oh well. Well, think of it this way, cat. The longer you keep it, it's like a fine whiskey, isn't it? The longer you keep it, the more the flavour becomes more awesome. It matures in the back of your truck. On the rocks or straight up? Oh, definitely on the rocks. You don't want it warm, do you? Now, do we take the highway or the dirt track? Dirt track is a bit of a pain, unless we take the... Eh, we could risk on the train track, I suppose. Well, yeah, just the one ice cube, definitely. That's that's how the connoisseurs take it. <laughs> Please, not this conversation. <laughs> the connoisseur, I like it. That's how the connoisseur takes it. I love it. You're getting a Chinese soon. <laughs> Are you getting King Poo, is it? Oh, sorry, King Po. King, King Poo chicken. I'll, I'll stop now. I'll stop. Oh, dear. I spot some 60s swing on instead. People drink coffee poop by cats. Um, there's actually a coffee bean that... Um, there's a particular coffee bean that's very, very expensive. It's something like $2,000 a kilo. And the actual bean is eaten by... I can't remember which animal it is. It's eaten by an animal. And then it, it's pooped out again. And apparently that process adds to the flavor. And they collect these beans and make coffee from it. And it's a very kind of exclusive connoisseur's coffee that's very expensive. But I can't remember what kind of animal it is. I could have got that term. Um, are we doing too much here or not? Get on the road. Physics plus. Oh my god. Are we even physics, bro? No. 
Asian palm. It's something weird like that. I think it's this one that's... is it? It's probably not even this turn off. I bet I've got the wrong turn off. It feels like it's this one though. I might be in the wrong place. Yeah, there it is. There it is. I'm in the right place. Now the hard part about this one is just lining the truck up. So it doesn't keep sliding. In fact, if I remember, it used to go down that hill a bit. The pain about this one is just not getting slid down the slope. Can't see a thing. It's gonna love a rock round. Where's the attachment point on this thing? Where's the attachment point? There it is. It's maybe too far. Might have to get a bit closer. Oh, scumbag. Right. It's one of the um, it's one of the scraps that you can pick and take to the mechanic, take to Flitari, and he'll basically give you money for it. It's a bit of a pain to get out of this one. Trying to get it out of this ditch is not easy. Who's that? A speed bump! Thank you for subbing, speed bump. Can we give him a nutty welcome, guys? Thank you for your support. Welcome to Nahal Speed Bump. Has that brought it with us? Yes, it has. Solid bond. Thank you for the resume, sir. Well, let's have a look at how far away it is from us. Consider shortening the gap if it's too much. Yeah, so that's a bit long. So if we drag that down the road, this thing's going to start going down the side of the valleys and stuff, and it'll try and tip us down. So we'll reverse a little bit closer and then reattach it. Let's try that. Did you find that part earlier? What do you mean? Yeah, it's more like it. It looks like a rusty sleigh. Yeah, it's just basically the chassis off the car. 
Uh, Daniel Sargent, good night. Nineties rave music. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Got a holiday. Uh, it's a Civic Cat, and it beans are six hundred dollars for five hundred grams. So it's twelve hundred dollars a kilo. I wasn't that far off. Thirty-five dollars a cup. Nah, I'll stick to my coffee beans, thanks. 